Hey guys, Chubbs here with a Proteus level editor tutorial and today I'm going to show you all how to go about making donuts and hollow cylinders. This is in response to a comment left by Tone Child over on the official Proteus YouTube channel. So we'll begin with a sort of donut shape similar to the donut area that you see in E1M3 Toxin Refinery in the original Doom. So I'm going to go over here to the middle of our plane and we're going to start by making basically like the middle of the donut, basically like the donut hole. So I'm going to go up to the toolbar, click the draw cylinder tool, and then we're just going to drag out the hole itself. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to drag and I'm going to try and make it uh, an even hole. So we'll just make it six units by six units. Then I'm going to let go and then we're going to determine how deep the hole is. I guess we'll um, we'll just do four units deep. Click. And whenever you're using the uh, draw cylinder tool, you have to give it some information and sort of finalize it before it becomes a brush. So I'm going to go up here and click Windows and then Inspector. And you can see here that inside its properties, we need to uh, specify how many sides it has. And you can also give it some other information as well. But we're just going to mess with the sides in this case. So instead of eight sides, I want this to be a little smoother. So I'm going to change it to a larger number. We'll just do 12 sides for this tutorial. And you can see that it's a much smoother shape. And that's it. So we'll click Convert to Brush. And we're now ready to start working with it just like any other brush. So first thing that we're going to do, since this is the hole of the donut, is we're going to go up here and click flip faces in the properties. Next, we're going to control the camera here and we're sort of going to fly down to where we can see the uh, upper part of the hole. And while the, uh, the hole itself is still selected, we're going to enter face mode. You can do that either by pressing the number two or you can go up here and, and click face select here. And we're going to select this top face and press the delete key because we do not need that face. This is the hole of the donut, so we, we want this part to be open. So that's exactly what we want right there. Next, what we want to do, again with the hole still selected, is we want to enter the e uh, edge select mode. You can do that either by pressing 3 or by going up here on the toolbar and clicking edge select. And now, uh, the best thing to do here is get your camera to where you're sort of looking at the the whole shape like head on like we're doing now and then just drag select across the top so that you only select the top edges like we've done here and then let go and here is the sort of magical part that makes this happen and it's going to turn this into the donut shape so uh, first we're going to uh, enter the uh, scale mode you can do that either by pressing R on your keyboard or you can go up here and click scale and then before we begin to scale, we're going to click Extrude Edges. You can either uh, click this or you can hold Control and Shift and then press V. I'm just going to click it here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the center uh, red and blue widgets here to scale evenly in all directions. So I'm going to start with the red tool in the middle. I'm going to sort of count as I go. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to do the same with the blue tool in the, in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm trying to be careful with it there. You can also uh, change the grid size to make it jump in larger increments. But uh, now that we have scaled evenly in all directions, you can see that our donut is starting to sort of take shape. So now that we have spread out around our hole, the last thing that we need to do is uh, go back to the move mode. You can either press W on your keyboard or you can go up here and click the move button on the toolbar. And when you're in this mode, once again, click extrude edges or use that keyboard shortcut. I'm going to click it. And now instead of scaling, we're going to use this green arrow to move down. And you can move down as far as you want. I'm just going to move it all the way down to our floor. And we are finished. So 
So as you can see, we have sort of a donut shape with a like a, a walkway around it. And then you have this central area here and you have yourself a donut. And I'll, I'll actually uh, delete this plane. That way you can see just the donut itself. So you have the walkway and then you have this central part. So you can make like this central part acid or, you know, whatever you want it to do. So that's how you go about making a donut or a donut shape. So now that we have got that part out of the way, we'll go ahead and do the last part here, which is making a hollow cylinder. And it's really mostly the same thing, just, you know, with a, a few extra steps thrown in at the end. So we'll begin with a similar process. I'm going to go up here to the draw cylinder tool. I'm going to draw out a circle. I'm going to try and keep it even again. We'll, we'll do seven units this time. And then we'll determine how large or how tall we want this cylinder to be. I'll make it uh, a pretty large cylinder. We'll go with eight units tall. And again, we need to finalize it before we can work with it as a brush. So uh, instead of 12 sides, I think this time I'm going to do 16 sides to make it look really nice. And then I'll click convert to brush. And so the first thing that we want to do here uh, is Again, go and click Flip Faces. And we're going to go ahead. I'm going to delete this plane to get rid of it. That way we're only working with our cylinder here. So since we want this to be sort of a hollow cylinder, uh, the first thing I'm going to do right away is with the cylinder selected, I'm going to enter face mode. I'm just going to press 2 on my keyboard, keyboard to do that. And then I'm going to select this face here and this face and just delete them. Press the delete key because we don't need those faces. We're, we're, we're going to want this to be a hollow tube and we want it to be open, you know, on both ends, just like that. So now that this is where it's going to be similar to what I showed you with the donut. Uh, with this still selected, we're going to press three to go into edge select mode. We're going to look at it head on like this. We're just going to select the top edges, sort of get our camera looking at it like this. We're going to go into scale mode. We're going to click extrude edges or you can use the keyboard shortcut. We're going to scale evenly outwards. I'm just going to I'm going to count again. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to make it a sort of a thin uh, outer surrounding edge this time. One, two, three. We'll just do three this time. And then with the blue tool one, two, three. There we go. And then we will change to the move tool. Click extrude edges again. And we're going to go down. And we're going to bring it all the way down to the very bottom. And you can you can use the crosshair tool, which is this this like yellow uh, crosshair or yellow series of lines that you see in order to help you get it just right with the bottom. So right here, we're exactly aligned with the bottom. And when you've made it this far, you're just about finished. So I'm going to press escape. And you can see that although we have nearly gotten our cylinder complete, we still have this uh, portion here along the bottom that is just a void. We need to fill it in. So to go about doing that, all we're going to do is I'm going to enter edge select mode by pressing 3 on the keyboard. I'm going to select just one of these edges here uh, on like the, the inner circle and then while holding shift I'm going to click an edge that's right across from it here in the outer circle. So you can I'm going to move the camera here to give you guys a better view of the two edges that I selected. See how they're sort of across from each other? And with those two edges selected I'm going to click bridge two edges and that way it connects them and now for this last step go into edge mode and select any of these edges that are sort of uh, 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 like bordering the void area it can be any of these edges here and then click cap selected edges and when you click that it will cap it off and you have sort of sealed up that void so you now have a cool looking cylinder that is uh, 
you know, it's hollow all the way through and it's it's capped off nicely and it looks cool. So you could take this into your level. You could uh, have it be like a like a, a silo or you could rotate it, have it be sort of a pipe that the player goes through. You could do all kinds of stuff with it. And uh, there's a an official tutorial over on the Proteus YouTube channel. Uh, I believe it's one where he cut out a hole in the floor uh, and he recommended that whenever you make uh, shapes like this that after you have sort of used that uh, cap selected edge command that you go in and uh, add some extra uh, edges and uh, to do that like you would select a vert here and a vert here like verts that are uh, across from one another like that in, in vertices mode and then click connect and see how that uh, it's sort of tough to see but see how that created a, a line there between those verts he recommended doing that to, to optimize it and, and to make it play nicer with the engine. So you might want to go about doing that too. Uh, just enter vertices mode. Uh, you can drag select one vert and then hold down shift, drag select the other across from it and click connect and that will create a, an edge or a line in between those. But he recommended doing that. You know, it's, it's sort of time consuming and tedious, but according to him, you know, it he said that it helps out with the math and just makes it play nicer with the engine. So anyways, that's that pretty much concludes this tutorial. There we go. We've got all those edges selected. We have all the lines there. It's looking nice. And let's look at the top. Yep, the top the top was already done for us. It's just the bottom that was capped off that we had to, to manually do. So I uh, just thought I'd show you guys that extra little bit there at the end. I definitely recommend going over to the YouTube, the official YouTube channel for Proteus and checking out their tutorials. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description. But uh, that's it for donuts and hollow, hollow cylinders. Hope this has helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. This is Chubbs signing out.